Good morning, sports racers. My butt cheeks are sweaty and it's the 13th of July. You know what that means? Tomorrow's the 14th of July. That's the day that we vote for the ugliest MySpace page in the I Knows Me Some Ugly MySpace showdown. Tomorrow we'll vote for the 10 ugliest pages. If you still want to enter, this is your last chance. The top 10 ugliest pages will then have the weekend to become even more ugly. And on Monday we'll vote for the winner of that prize valued at $10,000. It's perfect to wear to the office or even on a first date. So, so, so something from the comments. Mr. Turkle wrote, you're full of shit. Mr. Turkle, I agree that anyone that uses words like symbolic architecture should be suspected of being full of shit. Just like anyone that shows up in the comments and writes you're full of shit should be suspected of of being an asshole. I suspect you had lots more to say on the subject, but the comments wouldn't let you put your words into bold all caps with lots of exclamation points. So I created the Zay is full of shit forum. Now you can be as bold as you want to be. Supreme Court Roundup. A couple weeks ago, the Supreme Court ruled that the Bush administration's plan to put Guantanamo detainees before special military commissions was uncool. The commissions had been created to sidestep the protections that are ordinarily granted in a civilian court or a military court martial. For example, the commissions failed to guarantee the defendant the right to attend the trial and gave the prosecution the ability to introduce hearsay evidence, unsworn testimony, and evidence obtained through coercion. Opponents of the commissions had argued that this created a legal black hole that contradicted the liberties that we were fighting to defend. The Supreme Court ruled that Guantanamo proceedings had to comply with federal and international law. Having to comply with international law opened up a whole new can of worms for the Bush administration. One piece of international law that was in question was part of the Geneva Convention. The Geneva Convention is a whole bunch of rules on how people should be treated during wartime. Common Article 3 guarantees certain basic rights to prisoners of war. For example, prohibiting cruel treatment and torture. The Bush administration had previously argued that Guantanamo detainees are not technically prisoners of war and therefore are technically not afforded those protections. According to the New York Times, military lawyers such as Admiral John Hudson have argued that this distinction could endanger members of the American military who might someday be captured by an enemy and treated like the detainees at Guantanamo. In the wake of the Supreme Court decision, the Bush administration has reversed its position and now acknowledges that the detainees are under the protection of the Geneva Convention. But as of yesterday, the Bush administration asked Congress to pass legislation that would effectively nullify that protection. <laughs> Referring to the possible legislation, Admiral Hudson said, quote, We should be embracing Common Article 3 and shouting it from the rooftops. They can't try to write us out of this because that means every two-bit dictator could do the same. This is a frank compiling so you don't have to. Fabulosos, M to C6.